could have stayed with my first week, I want to be on the antidepressants. I could have taken a, a hint to realize that a different young lady had no intention of being my muse. I could have blithely opposed it to me burning cannabis and making some telling my own. I could have uh, resisted to the consumption of various intoxicants. I could have asked what that pill was before I washed it down with H2O. I could have ignored my inner curiosity about shrinks. I could have avoided passive experiences. I could have done some of these things. I could have avoided some of the others. And if that were the case, I'd have little to no material for this bone. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Being lesbian, shattered my dreams. For now, I 
wide. He's kind and sweet, smart and clever like any other boy. Why must he start there in the dark alone? Like an alley cat, like a baby bird that lost his will to flight? Why must he be a cardboard box full of simple things like wet matches, two strings, and a picture of a family that's been torn from a book? Be the only thing he has. Why must he be the world? Getting food in my hair, and vice versa, 
has become a much more prevalent problem. But it's all without you. I've become a delinquent and a hero, a survivor of a warning, and a long, an anomaly and a statistic without you. So now, I'm roaring. There's an angry child in a burning cathedral in my chest, and I am roaring. Roaring for every bitch, every nigger, every whore, for every leather strap across my back, every hand across my face, roaring for the hate you spewed at me as a consequence of me being me, roaring for the scars that spread like a plague down my arms without your concern, roaring for the nights I spent in my closet, crying with clothes hanging all around me, pretending they were friends, roaring for runaways, for foster kids, for court date no-shows, for nightmares and insomnia, for depression and suicide, roaring because of the terminal data corruption eating up my hard drive, and I am roaring because the cathedral is collapsing and the angry child is burning, the child, the boy, me. I am roaring and burning in this collapsing cathedral without you.
I just like to say something before, because I know sometimes people feel like when something comes up in the forums, it's just provide. This isn't about being good for it, really. None of us here on stage are shit. This is about the fact that there is a very big problem in, in our country right now. Let's just talk about it here. Kids are walking outside and feeling like nothing. Like they're gonna die and no one's gonna miss them. Like nobody loves them and they're never going to feel anything but alone. I don't care why. I don't. I don't care whether it's the economy, bad schools, gang problems, the fact that for some god awful reason we still haven't gotten over the fact that it's not just straight people anymore. It's a problem. And we need to find it within ourselves. And I'm not talking about the kids because we don't get a choice. We are born. Period. We didn't ask for this world, but it was given to us anyway. The people that truly are holding the power in the world need to finally decide to make a choice. Figure out what they're going to do. Because two paths are converging in the narrow road right now. And only one of them is going to end up with a burning flame. That's all I wanted to say. Go off the window.
we'll break out into our groups. Um,